Hey, Max. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Welcome to Cleveland. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. What went into your decision to choose the Cavs this offseason? Um, honestly, not a lot. Uh, when I heard they were interested, I was – I was interested as well. I mean, the, the amount of the interest that they had in me, I had in them. So, um, you know, when I knew Miami wasn't going to work out, uh, this was probably the next best situation for me. And, you know, me and my agent talked about it and um, the ability to come here and, you know, space the floor for, you know, the stars that we have in Darius and Donovan um, was something I think is, is going to be very productive and, and, and very helpful for our team. And, um, you know, to be able to join a, a great playoff team, um, like we had last year, um, and to be, to be able to share my experiences and, and my knowledge of what I gained in Miami, um, to bring that here and, and help this young team, um, I, I was I was very excited for the opportunity for sure. As somebody who played against the Cavs a number of times over the last couple of years, in what way do you feel like now you guys can benefit from the spacing that you and George bring to the table that they yeah, didn't have before? Definitely, um, not only the the spacing that me and George provide, but just the ability of, you know, Donovan and Darius just to do what they do. Um, you know, the ability for us to, you know, be high in the wing and, and to prevent, prevent, uh, provide those driving lanes for them is, is huge. Um, and I think, um, you know, the things that people, you know, seem to forget about is not only can they get to basket, but those two guys can shoot too. So the ability to have shooting all over the floor is massive and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting to training camp and, um, you know, putting everything together uh, to see what we really have. Hey, Max. Um, being with the Heat last year, finishing eighth, but getting to the finals, what was the key to that, and how can uh, you kind of transfer that success to this team? Yeah, the, the key to that was, uh, you know, our, our togetherness as a team. Um, I think if you ask anybody from that team last year um, what they enjoyed most about it, uh, most about the, the journey was just being together with our group. I think we just enjoyed each other's success. Um, and when you have guys that like being in the locker room with each other and enjoy playing with each other, um, it's contagious and, and it and prevents you know us to play great basketball. So um, I, I loved everything about it and the journey was special and um, I'm just looking to come here and provide that and we already have great guys in this locker room um, really good guys and I, and I think it starts there and and then the, the basketball part of it comes easy after that Mitch Bunnell 92 through the fan welcome Max uh, obviously with the playoff run you guys had last season you saw a lot of those beasts in the east I mean even going into this year with some of the moves that have been recently made throughout the conference what do you make of the competition you guys will be facing in Cleveland the east is tough um, the East has been tough the past couple of years, but um, like I said, it, it's not about anybody else. It's about us. So, um, you know, what we're going to be able to do, what we do um, during training camp, what we do out throughout the season is, is going to be everything. And, um, you know, we're going to learn a lot about each other, each other and, and our team um, during these next couple of months. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit for us. I, I think we're just as talented as any team um, in the NBA, and um, nobody should be counting us out to, to win a championship here. Evan Damar, right down Euclid. Max, I have to ask you first and foremost, did you see your former teammate Jimmy Butler's hair today? <laughs> no comment. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So you, you said when you found out Cleveland was interested, you were interested. Did you have a, do you have a relationship with anybody within the organization or on the team just that kind of maybe sealed the deal for you a bit more? Um, you know, I've, I've played against the guys a bunch. Um, didn't know anybody really personal. Um, you know, I've known Donovan for a couple of years now. I've known Darius for a couple of years. Um, I knew they were great people. Um, and to me, that's everything. If you're a good person, you're a good teammate. Um, you're good in my book. So um, to be able to play with guys like that. Um, uh, and, and I watched the playoffs and, and where they struggled last year. And I just knew that I can come in and, and help provide, um, you know, the shooting that we need and um, the floor spacing that, you know, we're all looking for. Uh, did Kevin Love tell you anything about Cleveland? Kevin, Kevin was great. Uh, Kevin was one of the first people I called, and uh, he couldn't have been more um, positive about the city of Cleveland alone and, and the organization here. So, um, you know, I think if you guys are happy that I'm here, I, I think Kevin should get a big nod to that because he told me it was a no-brainer. He's like, Max, you're everything they need. You'll be a great fit. The guys are great. The, the organization's great. 
Um, so Kevin definitely talked very highly of it, and um, you know he he hasn't steered me wrong once. So very very appreciative for Kevin Lowe. Chris Manning from SB Nation. Is your expectation to start? Yes. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Direct in. It's good. Um, and Donovan talked about a conditioning test where you went eight or nine laps longer than everybody else. Is that level of conditioning something for you the rest of your career and here this year? Is that something that carries over from Miami that you feel like, okay, that's now a standard for myself that I have to maintain because you saw the benefits of it when you were there? Yes and no. Um, there's definitely um, something that, you know, Miami instilled in me and, and things that I learned while my, my time there. But, um, I've always been about being in the best shape possible, working as hard as I can, um, being the hardest working player in the room. Um, that's kind of how I've gotten to where I am um, within my story. So um, just because I got a big contract or, you know, I make more money, that doesn't mean anything to me. Um, I'm still going to be the same person and, and still going to work hard and, um, you know, do what I do to, you know, get the respect to my teammates and, and to know that, you know, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the best shape possible to help this team win. And, uh, you know, I – wasn't here to make any statements. I wasn't here to say, you know, this is the Miami culture. Like, this is who I am, and, and this is how I work. So get used to it. Last question. Hey, Max. Nate Allard from the Akron Beacon Journal. Welcome to Cleveland. Thank you. Um, you know, along those lines, though, with, with you showing that work ethic and everything um, that, that Donovan had mentioned to us, how much of a leadership dynamic are you eager to bring in addition to the, you know, what you bring as a shooter and, and floor yeah. spacer? I think the leadership part is huge. Um, you know, that's one of the things Kobe talked to me, you know, after I signed. Um, Kobe brought me in and said, you're, you're going to be the most, uh, have the most playoff experience on our team. And, you know, to me, it's only year five. Um, and to be able to have that um, in my back pocket is huge. And, and I'm a, I've learned so much in my young career so far um, that I think I've grown and matured a bunch. And I think I can provide, you know, great leadership in that regard, and, and I will. Um, you know, I, I'm going to take that personal, um, give everything to the organization, give everything to the team that I have learned um, and the knowledge gained from the past couple of years and, um, you know, try to get to the same places that I was able to get to in, in Miami. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.